it's Jill Trujillo and I'm here to talk to you about the 2014 Women's Golf Mountain West Conference Championship won by the Lobos. Woof woof. Um, I just want to start off first by uh, saying it was quite an interesting year. We had uh, four freshmen and uh, it made for some interesting times but it was awesome. We had three freshmen in the lineup in uh, Katerini Yeager, Eva Saunier, and Mano Malay. And nothing's better than having freshmen in your lineup to push, uh, push the, older, the older players. Um, but they were hungry and it was really fun to watch them improve throughout the year. Um, we also had two awesome seniors in the lineup, uh, Sammy Stevens and Mano DeRoy. And uh, having those two in that they, they had um, uh, previous experience from the last year. We play our conference championship at the Dyna course at Mission Hills where they play the LPGA a and championship. So uh, we've had it there since 2013 and it's uh, it's such an awesome experience for all the players who go there. But uh, having those two seniors, Mano DeRoy, she was the defending individual champion. So she was hungry to repeat and um, but it, it was it was uh, it was quite a fun time. So the um, uh, the team they all stayed in a condo together, and they got to um, get together after every day and talk amongst each other without coaches and um, kind of have a plan. So that that was pretty pretty fun to watch the the older ones basically say to the younger ones, "We're going to win this, and you guys need to get it together." <laughs> So we can do this, but um, we had a pretty, uh, it wasn't a comfortable lead after the first two rounds, but we had a small lead. Um, I, I can't remember who we were paired with. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it was probably UNLV and San Diego State. Um, but the forecast for that day was supposed to be very windy um, by the time we were finishing up our round. And um, uh, San, San Jose State, they were in the pairings ahead of us. So they had a pretty good round that day and they were already done with their round. We still had about six holes to go and that's about, the back nine was pretty windy, but that's about when the wind really picked up and it was, uh, it was gusting um, 30 to 35. Um, probably a good 25 mile an hour wind happening and if you've ever seen um, the Dyna course on television when they play the LPGA the last few holes are not the easiest holes to finish on they're full of pressure um, uh, 16 is a very tough par four with a difficult green and 17's uh, funny little par three that has a couple uh, a couple tiers to it so um, when they, it's it's also um, protected by some uh, some tough bunkers, um, and every year we never know what we're going to get with the dinosaur course because uh, they um, it, it depends on how far the A and A has played already from us. Typically, it's two weeks, but sometimes they have um, sometimes they have uh, drought. Sometimes the course is firm, and sometimes it's soft. So. Um, and anyway, they have the famous, uh, the famous 18th hole, which is a par five, and uh, the green is surrounded by water. And um, uh, of course, Poppy, Pop Poppy's Pond is on there, and that's what all the champions jump into. So um, uh, we play it differently, though, than the ANA because the ANA always has um, uh, bleachers behind the green. So the tour players can't go into the water behind the green. But we can because there was no there's no bleachers there, so it makes for some interesting shots into that green. Um, and typically we don't go for it in two either because it, we play it a little bit uh, we play it a little bit longer and it's a little riskier. Um, but so we had um, we had we had the lead. We had about a six shot lead going into our last our, our last three holes, and um, the wind picked up. It was it was crazy. So uh, our our seniors had a few bogeys coming in and uh, we were making some bogeys. So our lead, <laughs> our lead kept getting cut and cut and cut. And um, a couple things happened on the 18th hole. Um, Katerina Yeager 
hit it. She was the first, our first, our, our second player to, to come in. And she hit it into the water on the left on her second shot. And she took her drop, Coach Choi was with her, and she hit an incredible seven wood that hit the green. And she was so excited that it happened and she dropped her club and jumped up and hugged Brittany <laughs> that she hit that. Um, she went on to make a bogey with hitting it in the water, which was something that we really needed. Um, all the while, I'm kind of texting Coach Choi, and I think I told her, whatever you do, they cannot make more than a bogey. Get them a bogey. Um, so, uh, Mano DeRoy is coming in, and she hits her tee shot into the water. So Brittany's there with her, and then there's a cool video that the Mountain West uh, took, and she she hit her fourth shot um, onto the green, but then it went up and over the green, and they didn't know, we didn't know if it was in the water or not in the back, but it, it ended up not being, and she hit this incredible chip from the back of the green, and it goes up, and then it's a downhill, sh downhill shot. So she hit this perfect shot, it ended up this far, so she makes a bogey. It was a bogey of her life. It was awesome. Um, and then we have Manomole. Um, Sammy finished with a decent round. And then Manomole is coming in. And she had the lead, uh, individual lead, um, which she didn't have such a good day. But uh, all we needed for her to do was have a par on that last hole, that 18th hole, which it can have some big numbers, people hitting it into the water on that hole. So, um, she hits an she hits a, a an okay drive. Um, she looked at me after her drive and she pulled out her driver. Manomale was one of the best driver off the deck players. She could hit that driver off the grass like nobody. And so she pulled that driver out to hit it, and I was like, <laughs> "Calm down, freshman. We we're we're not going to do that." So she hits a great shot. Um, a little bit in the rough and the, we had it was like a three club win and Brittany Choi and I couldn't figure it out that our texting wasn't working and I'm like how many more clubs does she need to hit what does she need to do so finally Brittany Choi's be at the green she knows what I'm talking about and she she goes one two three to say it was a three club win into that 18th green so Mano Manole hit the the hybrid of her life into that green she hit it pin high left and then we had a little argument about what that putt did if it broke right or left. And I, she thought it broke left and I told her it broke right, but whatever. So she hits her putt up there. It's, it's this far, she taps in for a par, which was all we needed. And the excitement and uh, jumping into Poppy's Pond is, is incredible. But that, uh, that's kind of the synopsis of the 2014 championship. It was, uh, it was awesome.